Simply put, humanitarian needs throughout Syria are at their highest ever, with the UN estimating that 14.6 million Syrians are now dependent on humanitarian assistance across Syria. 12 million people face acute food insecurity and 90% live in po po poverty. Given this disturbing reality, it is unconscionable that discussions at the Security Council are focused on whether to close the one remaining authorized border crossing for aid, rather than how to expand access to life-saving aid across the country and through every appropriate route. Parties to the conflict have themselves consistently fail in their obligations to allow and facilitate a rapid and unimpeded passage of humanitarian relief for civilians in need across Syria. These and all other obstacles to humanitarian aid must be removed, including those caused by unilateral sanctions, even when unintentional. Millions of refugees who fled the country are now under increasing pressure to return. When UNHCR recently polled refugees, nearly 9.30% said they do not intend to return in the next year. We need to remind this body that 40,000 children are still held in appalling conditions in Al Hall and Al Raj camps in northeast Syria, alongside 20,000 adults, mainly women. Insecurity in Al Hall remains rife with at least 24 murders reported this year. Even humanitarian works have been targeted. A Red Crescent nurse was killed and an ICRC doctor stabbed. My delegation rejects the accusations and fallacies in the Commission's reports and the statements uh, of its uh, sponsors uh, and their attempts to promote the establishment of new international mechanisms on Syria. We stress that allegations of uh, human rights or the promotion of human rights in support of the political solution and ending the suffering of refugees and the health host communities cannot be taken through the promotion of accusations controversial prefabricated accusations, controversial decisions, and false reports.